Hello, Ben Norcott here from theathletecoach.com. So we're progressing on nicely with our long-term athletic development um, videos. This one we're looking at, and it's part C in this area particularly, we're looking at what are the three key areas of functional development in collision-based sport. And this um, video, part C of this series, we're looking at um, our trunk strength and bracing ability. In part A and B, we looked at different areas. A, we looked at the upper body, and in B, we looked at the lower body. So again, we're breaking it up into our different training age groups, which is training to train, training to compete, and training to win. So number one, we're looking at isometric bracing, lateral bracing, and hip extension lumbar endurance to create really good um, strength endurance in people's cores, in bracing areas, and also in hip extension. And why that's important is it just builds a really good base to move on with, and a lot of strength endurance in that area means that we can start um, working, moving towards our more dynamic areas. And it also gives someone the ability to brace their core, which is one of the fundamental things that you're looking at when you're looking at developing a strong or functional trunk. So in our second area, which is training to compete, we're progressing to multi-dynamic postural control exercises. So multi-dynamic is a fancy word for saying we've progressed on from bracing to adding movements while bracing. So it might be in a prone hold, we're doing an alternating leg and lift, leg lift. It might be stepping up and down like a, a prone hold step up. It could be laterally, they're bracing and they're actually doing some work with their arms or they've got to move a dumbbell around so that they've got the ability to brace, but now they've got to, um, their limb or a limb is doing a movement and everything has to brace to allow that. Now, in our third stage, we start looking at the training to win. We pro start progressing to sports related vertical bracing and strength and power exercises. So a lot of our work becomes standing up. So it might be a, a pile of press, but single leg, then around the world, which is holding a band on a single leg, twisting. Again, all of the things we're looking at how we can combine the lower leg trunk and the upper body to a movement and making sure the trunk can brace and still create movements that, that are allowed. So if we just worked on purely bracing, it would you'd lock someone into a pattern where they'd look very rigid. We need them to be able to rotate and dynamically control and um, brace at certain times but allow other movements to happen. So there's a whole bunch of exercises we can look at. They're the more fancy ones that people like seeing on Instagram, but a lot of work has to go into the background to allow that. Really good thing about the trunk is it can progress pretty quickly. It's actually designed for this reason. And as long as you're doing chipping away at it, your, your trunk integrity or functional development can progress really quickly. Don't forget to take a look at all the other videos in this series. If you like what you're seeing here, please give us a, a thumbs up and that way we can continue to keep working with you.